Hey everybody, me and my awesome jacket. Uh, sorry I haven't uploaded anything recently. I've been kind of... I don't know. It's... it's kinda... <laughs> I don't really know how to explain this. Um, I could just be totally real and say that I was lazy, which is part of it. But, uh, the other reason is, it's kinda hard for me to work up the just the one to play this game like I love this game I love it so much but there's always that fear that it'll crash and there's one point in particular that I always come back to which is in tranquility lane anybody who's played the game knows about that spot but I mean not the actual crash but let's just say the failsafe is where it crashes. All, like, oh, when I was playing through this game, I got to that part, and I could only activate, like, two or three things before it just crashed. It was terrible. It, I was, like, probably stuck there for an hour trying to do it. It was, it was just awful. Hey, stranger. Wanna buy a girl a drink? Uh. Hey, good looking. Now that's what I like in a- Okay. I was hope- I'm- I still haven't found that one chick that was supposed to- I forgot to make myself go offline. Whatever. Um... There's supposed to be some chick who's supposed to come up to you and say, I know you've been asking around about an android, but... She's apparently not existing at the moment, so... Forget her. We'll go do something else. We'll come back later. What other quests do we have? It's been a while. Um, I'd rather not do that. Those, I think we're actually pretty hurt on ammo, if I remember right. Uh, not really. Not, not as much as I thought. Sensitivity's kind of crazy, but... Um, being outcast, not yet, not yet, not yet. Into the pit, nope. Um... Ceiling independence, that one's gonna be rough. So not yet. I guess Yeah, I guess we could do that. Why not? Okay, yeah, we have Oh no, we have twelve Is this this is the terror this is a shotgun, yeah? It is. Okay, yeah, we're freaking we're fine. Let's go do those. Oh god, Tyler's gonna message me. He's gonna be like, Saints Row 2? That's right! Return to Granny Pants and Chrome Dome! We're doing it. I finally got it to work. In fact, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just let him wait. I'm, I'm going to finish this. He's probably going to be like, hey there. uh, I'm he hasn't messaged me yet, but if he does, I'll tell him in like 27 minutes or so. Keep these at like 30 minutes each, except for the one I actually edited in, which was, I don't like the quality that, but, oh, Talon Company. Friendship. I don't like the quality that the edited one came out in. Like, oh. came out as. Like, I liked it. I thought it was hilarious. Just, like, I didn't... That was all one continuous thing. I just edited it to, like, the more interesting spots. I just love jumping over that rocket. It cracked me up. But, uh... I don't know why, but it just seemed like the quality was... For some reason, it just came out as crap. I searched up some stuff, and I think I know how to fix it next time, but... That was a bus. But anyway, yeah. So hopefully next time, if I actually edit something, it'll come out better. Um, We're going to go to those. I'm going to bump up speech. Science... I could bump it up to 75, that would be nice. We'll do that. And then... <laughs> uh, medicine... Explosives. Why do I have it so high? Was I trying to get to 50? I have no idea. And it'll just... Put it in friggin' repair. Yeah, that works. Um.
them. Swift Learner's Waste, Lead Belly, maybe. Rad Resistance, probably. This ground tree will find some more. More ammunition? Please! Okay. I'm actually surprised that he Tyler didn't message me. He must remember that I said some. I must have said something about recording some Fallout, and he's like, okay, I'll just wait. So, whatever. I'm gonna have to compliment him <laughs> and tell him what a great person he is. And we have 2,400 caps. I had no idea. Wait, am I really just walking to those? I'm pretty sure it'd be quicker if I... Yeah, that's what I thought. We've got a the wharf. I was actually afraid I wouldn't have much to talk about whenever I start playing this game again, but... <laughs> gone five minutes without stopping. Uh, what else? Oh, I remember, um, another thing, I'm pretty sure that's fixed in this game, I'm pretty sure I did it in a previous playthrough, was, um, on the Xbox version of, uh, Fallout 3, the one that isn't the Game of the Year version, like, I... Whenever I got Fallout 3, I got it when it, maybe a month or so after it came out. And, um... Where's the little Johnny boy? Oh no, he already came to me. I forgot. Um... It was... Yeah, the DLC was The Pit. And for some reason, if you had The Pit and, uh... Okay, maybe I don't want to use this on things that shoot fire. What else do I have? A pistol would be alright. Assault rifle wouldn't be too bad. Um, something about having in the pit, into the pit, or the pit, whatever it's called, and um, what was the... what was it called? It's the the swamp one, local flavor. I can't remember what that's called. It's like lookout point or point. No, it's not point lookout. That sounds like something. Did that ant just go into the ground? It's probably gonna shoot fire at me through the freaking concrete. I bet you. No, he's not that sinister. Oh, it's, maybe it is point lookout. I don't think so, though. Wow, it's gonna drive me nuts now. Um, whatever. The one with all the punga fruit and whatnot. That's the yeah. Something about having both those DLCs. You bought them, like on the store, and installed them both. Something about it would make this one part in uh, the pit unpassable. Like you can still do the DLC. You can still do it all fine, but. You wouldn't be able to, uh... There's a part where you have to collect... Well, you don't have... You have to collect ingots at one point. Like, ten or so. Ten or twenty. I think just ten. And, uh... That's all you need. That's all you have to get. But there's a total of a hundred. And if you get all hundred, you get some pretty neat prizes. <laughs> yeah. But, um... There's this one part that would make a ceiling... Just... You'd fall through it which was really odd and it would kill you you'd fall through the you'd fall through the world and break your legs on some I don't know just some random plane uh, it was just there I mean you couldn't see it anywhere else I don't know why it was there but oh okay cool I've been <laughs> that's another reason why I haven't done anything I've been playing a lot of rust alright <laughs> And I actually tried to get on earlier today, and it wasn't. Oh, guns and bullets. Um, I'm not holding on to those, yeah? Like, I got that one... That one perk. What is it? Uh, comprehension. Yeah, okay. So I've been reading these. Good. But, yeah, it would make it to where you couldn't get all 100. You'd be down maybe... At least 20, I think. Which is really... Shame, I really need to freaking go offline or something. I'm pretty sure if I go busy, it still shows up. Let's see. Eh. Eh. Busy. Ah. 
Um. So if you wanted to do that, it'd be a good idea to actually go through the pit first, and then install. Uh, we'll reinstall Point Lookout. I'm convinced that's what it's called. And after, yeah. And then everything would run fine. It wouldn't affect Point Lookout at all. It was just some weird thing with, uh... It's just some weird thing with the pit. Drugs and money. Alright, checked in here. Didn't I? Yeah. So, yeah. I actually really like the pit. Just because, like, the ending choice was actually pretty... I don't know, I really liked it. It's not like the whole, Oh, this side's good, and this one's evil. You better... P it still popped up. Okay, let's just... Be offline. There. Um... Yeah, it definitely didn't have a good or evil outcome. Like, if you chose one, good things would happen and some bad things would happen. Same, well, and vice versa. It was just, it was, I liked it. And you didn't get any good or bad karma for it. You just, you pretty much just did what you want to do. I mean, I like being the good guy. I'll do the good things. But this literally had no effect. This is scary! Get out of here! gonna start shooting fire at me <laughs> okay that was legitimately scary I was backed into a corner <laughs> and the thing was getting closer to me I don't know if I already said this but I have a phobia of like giant insects I don't care about small ones that you see day to day I mean I'll be freaked out if I see a freaking uh, a freaking what are they called a uh, black widow I'll be pretty freaked out because that would be Something that can bite you and kill you? That's pretty scary. If it's like a fire ant or like just a garden spider or something like that, I'm not going to freak out. Black Widow. Notoriously deadly. <laughs> uh, I'm going to bounce. But, um... I don't know. I guess it's just like the crazy up-close detail. Like, I remember... I remember back when I used to watch Spongebob. There was one part where I... Like, uh... Spongebob's wormy turned into a butterfly and it landed on his face and it got all close up freaked me out scared the crap out of me it was oh it was freaky I could deal with butterflies but when it's up close and like oh I guess it's just the details that freak me out sure is hot in here. that's a shame Ugh. I don't know. Like the ant queens in these games, those freak me out too. That's more like it's a freaking bug monstrosity. Thinking about it doesn't affect me much, but when it comes down to it, <laughs> I just want to kill it quick. Uh, do we even... Did I even carry... No, I carry around my... Yeah, I carry around probably a, uh, some brass knuckles instead. Yeah. Baseball bats are for chumps. <laughs> Karate kick. Aww. Oh. I don't know why. I have a habit of uh, turning off radios. I don't even know how they're powered anymore, but maybe they have a battery in them. I don't know. I guess that would make sense. I'm just gonna keep doing this. <laughs> Tested? Nope. Sealed? No. Oh, listed. Okay, I must have missed that one. I typically go from, like, the top left. Um, 
I'll open these up. If anybody wants to read them, they can pause the video. Pretty sure it's going on about uh, how, well, I guess just the ants and stuff. I think I did this backwards. I'm pretty sure I did this backwards. Yeah, I did. Whoops. Well, I'll just keep going. I'll keep going this way. Just glancing over that and just talking about coming across a working radio. It's pretty interesting. Oh man, that makes me think of one of the creepiest things from the pit. I love it. I also just realized my health is really low. Is there... Yeah, fire hydrant. Nectar of the gods. So much health for so little rads. I think... I think if I decide to do uh, New Vegas after this, which I'd love to, New Vegas is fun. Um, I think uh, I'd be more consistent with that, mainly because Fallout 3 on the PC is so, it crashes so much, which is just awful. New Vegas, I can't think of one time it crashed on me. There probably is one, but this one, it stuck with me, which is really cool. Really cool, yeah. That's the word I'd use. Anyway, it was just... It, yeah, it just... I can't remember it ever crashing on me. Not to mention, I also like how the, uh... The game actually, uh... What do I call it? Um... Oh yeah, the unique weapons. They actually look unique. Which is pretty nice. Wait, I want the blood pack. I know it heals for one, but I have my reasons why. Cause I'm a vampire. Vampires are the coolest. Actually, I've never really been into like kinda I guess I'd be considered paranormal. I've never been into paranormal stuff like that. Like, I mean, I always like to toss around the idea of what if zombies were real. Like, everybody, w I know a lot of people who would say, Oh man, I wish there was a zombie problem. That'd be so cool. Yeah, it wouldn't be so cool when you pr everybody you know and love has gotten eaten. That'd kind of suck. I also like to toss around the idea that I... Kind of hard to breathe in this thing. Then by all the means, stop, boy. Come on, tell me already. I'll continue after this. Oh no. What happened? <laughs> Sorry, kid. Your man is ant food. He's... He's dead? I guess I already knew. Besides, I'm too tired to cry anymore. You gotta stop it, so this can't happen to anyone else's family ever again. I wish I had met you a long time ago. And then maybe my dad would still be alive. Thanks for doing all this. I'm feeling better now that you're here. Okay. I just wish things would go back to how they used to be. Alright. I'm actually pretty sure... This is another spot where it's crashed on me before. So, I'm actually going to save... Isaac. Yep. And we're going to try our luck. If it crashes, I'll end it here. So... Yeah. Now, I've tried a lot of the fixes online to make it a bit more stable, but it, they've just, none of them worked for me. Okay. Uh. Boop. Again, I'll let these stay on for a minute so you can read them. Uh, 
Okay, let's get out of here before the world decides to break. Um. Oh, Jesus! Well, didn't expect that. Anyone out there? Hello? Yeah. Um. I don't think there would ever be a zombie apocalypse. I don't think it would near. I don't think it would go near the scale that's always in the movies and stuff. Like, uh, I, I don't know. Especially if it's slow zombies. Like, it amazes me. Like, it's gonna be unless it's like passed on, like airborne. If it's like Walking Dead style, maybe. But I don't think so. Just because. If it were to happen to, say, ten people, there's always that group of people in the movies and stuff who somehow survives. Alright? Like, it's just... Whether it's, uh... Say, Frank West or Chuck Green. Stuff like that. It's just... I don't know. It seems like... Why are these people one in a million? One in a thousand who seem to be the only people capable of fighting the undead. I mean, don't get me wrong, it was realistic truck ring turn, but I'm just saying, it, there's a lot of times where it's just like, oh, zombie apocalypse, but these guys can survive no matter what. It's just like, oh, well, why these people and not everybody else? That's why I don't think it would ever get to that scale. I think it would be about 15, 20 tops if there's actually zombies and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> that's my thought on it. I mean, I that's why I always okay, I won't disclaim it totally. I always think that there might be a possibility of zombies, but I don't think there's a uh, possibility of an apocalypse. I mean, we already have zombies. We have zombie ants or whatever. That, like, fungus or whatever. It's freaking creepy, but... It's a thing. But, um... Anyway, well, I was saying something about supernatural stuff. Like, vampires and whatnot. I never really got into those. I was, I was also, like... I feel like I was one of the few kids when I was younger, uh, who didn't really care for superheroes either. I didn't care for them either. Flash, Superman, Batman. I never cared for any of them. I don't know. I was always just playing games, and a lot of the games I played were like Mario, Legend of Zelda, etc. I didn't play a lot of superhero games. I oh, never mind. I did. I remember. I remember when I was younger that uh, we had a place near us called Movie Gallery that also rented out some games. This was back in like Nintendo 64 and stuff. Um, I actually rented Superman 64, and I remember it was uh, it was pretty bad. Like it didn't bring me to like frustration crazy. But I'd fly through the rings, and then the instructions would flash. I don't know if I could read yet. Maybe? Maybe I could. But I remember that I'd fly through rings. I'd try and try and try. It was hard for me. And there were a few times where I actually did make it through the rings, and I completed the level. But... Uh, the instructions would on the next segment would flash on the screen too fast and I wouldn't be able to pretty much register it. I wouldn't know what the crap it wanted me to do. That's what I remember. Uh. Uh, we need to try... we need to start using a different gun. Yeah, I... I don't have a lot of memories of early gaming. Like, all I really remember is playing Sega Genesis with my dad. That's pro Those are probably my earliest gaming memories. What 
We had games like Bubsy. Uh, had Lion King. We you also had freaking uh, what is it called? Mermaid. My Little Mermaid, or not My Little Mermaid. Uh oh man, I can't remember. Uh, I I can't believe I'm forgetting all this stuff like Point Lookout, uh, Aerial Mermaid. I forget what it's called. Oh, which is just driving me nuts. But whatever. Uh, I had that for a game for some reason. I don't really know why. I think those game just bought for me for some reason. Lion King, I remember being interesting. Um, Bubsy was a lot of fun. A lot of fun with Bubsy and my dad. Uh, we had some puzzle game involving Sonic. Kind of odd, but it was there. Uh, did I? Yeah, I just went to a circle. Um... Yeah, just, those were some of my early memories. I remember, uh, the biggest one was probably Bubsy. I enjoyed that game so much, and I, <laughs> I watched a video of JonTron, like, pretty much talk crap on it, which is totally fine. I mean, I don't, people have their opinions, it's totally cool. But, oh, that game had a, eh, it left its mark. I enjoyed that game so much. And I actually... I don't know, I think it was like maybe two years ago that I finally thought of, wait a second, my dad and I never beat that game. I could actually look online and see what was at the very end. I see the level with all the teleporters, I'm like, nope, <laughs> we wouldn't have done that. We would have freaking, yeah, we would never would have gotten it. Because this was before like the internet, pretty much. This was before the internet really took off. So we had... Back when games used to have, like, uh, passwords and stuff. So we had this, like, uh, you know, on a notepad, how it has, um, it has that kind of cardboard at the back? We actually had one of those, and we filled that thing up with codes for that Sonic game, Bubsy. It was, I don't know, it was just, I wonder if my dad still has it, because that'd be pretty neat if he did. Actually, I think I might have it. Or might have gotten rid of it. Because I think he gave me the Genesis. The Sega Genesis. And then I was like, I'm probably not going to play this. I'm probably not going to play this ever. So, we got rid of it. Because it was just taking up space. Like the box and the box of it and the cords and the games. So, I think that's where the codes were. It's like a piece of personal history. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, I'm done rambling and that's probably going to be it for this episode. So, uh, thank you for watching. This was me and my awesome jacket and I'll see you next time.